How can I manage my Moodle site? When you first log into Moodle as a new administrator, look for the link Site Administration on the left in what is called the Navigation drawer. When you click it, it will display the Site Admin area of Moodle accessible only to administrators. You can collapse the Navigation drawer by clicking the Hamburger icon to free up space and you can expand it again by clicking once more. Each of these tabs represents an admin area of Moodle. Some of them allow you to manage default settings for teachers and students. Some of them allow you to specify advanced settings. There are too many to consider in one short video, so we'll just have a quick overview. If you need to find something quickly, use the admin search. For example, if I want to view or change the password policy, I can use the search to locate parts of Moodle where this applies, in particular the site security settings. From the first tab, Notifications is where you can see your version of Moodle and Registration is where you go to register your site. From Advanced Features, you can turn on or off some items which you might not need. Along with settings which we explore in other videos, you can also access here messaging and Moodle app settings and add and specify languages you want your site to display. You will probably get to know the Users and Courses tabs very well and if you want to manage how grades display and work in Moodle, you do it from the Grades tab. From the Plugins tab, you can see the elements of your site, modules which plug into it to help it work better. Some plugins come as standard. Others can be installed by you if your hosting allows to add a lot more functionality to your site. Note it's not possible to install plugins on Moodle Cloud sites. From the Appearance tab, you can customise the look and feel of your site, for example with themes. Server and Development give useful technical information about your site and from the Reports tab, you can access useful logs and other site data. If it isn't there already, you can add an admin bookmark block by clicking the button Blocks Editing On and then, from Add a block on the left, select Admin Bookmarks. Configure it to any site administration page and then, Whenever you come to a page you wish to bookmark, you can do so and have quick access to it next time, as we're doing here with the Theme Settings page, for example. To summarise, the Site Administration tabs group important admin areas. Admin Search helps you easily locate items. Admin Bookmarks allows you to save useful pages for quick access.